Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Thanks as always for checking out the videos. Today I want to give you a first look at this pack, which is the Ghost Tech Energy Camper. It's a 60 liter pack. It's a backpacking style backpack. And um, I've used it a bit and I've been impressed so far with you know the overall build, construction, pockets, how it's organized. That's one side of it. The other side is that it comes with an 11 watt solar panel that you can attach to the pack to charge your gear off of. And it also has a 16,000 milliamp battery inside. So you can charge your gear off the solar panel, off the battery. You can charge the battery inside with the solar panel. A lot of cool kind of bells and whistles as far as these features. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the actual physical pack and then we'll also talk about the battery and the solar panel and kind of the charging process and how it's all wired together to help you, you know, keep your gear ready to go when you're out there in the woods. Let's start off and look at the back side of the backpack. You can see it's got padding here. It's got this cutout for good airflow padding on the bottom. We'll talk about the waist strap in a little bit, but that's padded as well. Grab handle here so you can, you know, operate and maneuver it as you see fit. Also, this is hook and loop, and there's a hook and loop panel inside the back of this, and you can adjust this. It's set at the large setting. For me now, it can go from large to medium to small, and basically that's going to bring the straps down. So depending on your torso size, you can adjust this so it fits you best. Flipping it around to the other side, you can see we've got a uh, water bottle holder on both the right and the left-hand side. I've slipped my uh, Sven saw down into that pocket, and then a tomahawk on that side. We do have the, uh, the top that comes over like this. So you're going to unclip that to get into the main compartment of the bag. Do have a pocket here. They say this is good for, you know, tech gear so you have easy access to it. Down on the bottom, this is another separate compartment. You can close it off in the main compartment. You can open up the main compartment so it's one huge section. Generally, I put a sleeping bag down in here, which is what I have in there now. And just, you know, overall you can see straps all over this thing. So, you know, you want to put a sleeping bag in here and then maybe your sleeping pad on the outside. You want to attach some gear to the outside. You can certainly do that quite easily. Just to show you on the side here, so that's what it looks like. I've got my tomahawk running through one, two of these straps, and then down to the water bottle holder. And again, you can adjust it and set it up however you want to. It also comes with this little toggle here so that you can, you know, wrap this around a piece of gear to keep it secure while you're hiking with it. Up on the top here, we have two external pockets. We have a large one that you can access. For me, that's where I'll keep hats, gloves, things like that, especially in the winter. And then we have a smaller one down below that. Again, good for phones or something like that. And then spinning this around, when you open it up, there's this entire mesh section is a zippered pocket as well. So lots of ways to organize and store your gear when you're out there in the woods. Okay, we're looking down into the main compartment now. I've taken out all the gear other than down on the bottom, you can see my uh, my green sleeping bag. This is your battery. It actually slides into. It has two little two little kind of um, tracks that it slides into and locks in. You've got one output, which is two amps for a USB. Here's another one. This is one amp of output for USB. There's a DC output. You can see we've got a plug here that runs out, and then here's a micro USB in this little section right here. And obviously, you can charge gear off of that. Here's a quick look at the 11 watt solar panel and I'll attach this to the pack in a second. Uh, when it is receiving sunlight and putting out energy, you'll see that little green light there is glowing and when it's not glowing, obviously it's not receiving sunlight and not going to be charging uh, your gear. But uh, this has two USB outputs so you can charge directly from this or again, you can use this to charge up the internal battery and make sure that thing is ready to go for when there is no sunlight. And here's a look at the panel actually attached to the pack. You can see it does have these clips and the four attachment points, two up top and two down at the bottom. Now the pack does come with everything you need as far as cords, so connecting your uh, solar panel into the battery and then running power out of your battery. It does come with this, which is a micro USB to like, you know, your AC adapter and then a micro USB to a USB. If you got an iPhone, just bring your iPhone cord. I want to show you something cool on the waistband right now because you can actually charge the gear without having to open up the pack and uh, it's accessible right here on my hip. All right, so here's the USB to micro USB cord I was just showing you. And right here on my hip, you can see this little kind of panel here that's powered back up through the pack to the uh, battery. So I plug this USB in here and then whatever I plug in here is going to charge. That's awesome. So I don't have to, you know, undo the whole pack to get into the main section of the pack as long as the battery's hooked up to this, which it is because they've wired it that way. Now I just have to plug in here, 
plug in my technology and put it in my pocket, whatever it is, and I can charge gear without having to access the main section of the pack. When you actually put the pack on, you can see I've got a sternum strap here, a built-in whistle in the clip here, it does have a padded waist belt with pull-forward straps, which are easier, in my opinion, at least to adjust. And then you've got these two straps up here that you can pull forward to really get it you know, adjusted as you would want. For any legitimate backpacking backpack, you should have all those features. And as you can see, that's built into this Ghost Tech Pack. Hey, what's up guys? I had to add this little section into the video because in my enthusiasm to get it done and to get it out to you, I forgot to report in about the actual outputs and how it worked for charging my gear. So what I'm gonna do is roll in a couple pictures. Uh, first, I used the two amp output from the battery to charge my iPhone. I timed it for five minutes and it went up 6% in five minutes. Then I went outside in full sunlight using the solar panel and I plugged in my USB to charge up my, charge up my iPhone and that went up 3% in five minutes. So just to give you a sense of the output, certainly you're gonna get more from the battery. So 6% in about five minutes. That's the rundown on the actual output when it comes to charging up your devices. All right guys, as we wrap up here, just a couple final thoughts. Uh, first thing is that once again, this is not a full-fledged review. I haven't had a chance to do like a, you know, a three-day hike or, you know, a couple overnights with this pack. I have had a chance to wear it and to, you know, go on some short excursions and walks and things and I've liked it. It's comfortable, uh, certainly holds a lot of gear. 60 liters is pretty big. Um, the construction overall is good. I haven't had any issues. Uh, there's nothing glaring for me that when I use it, I'm like, oh man, that's a huge problem for this pack. And I can say that because um, I've got a review coming out in the early fall of a 511 pack, and that pack has one pretty majorly glaring issue for me. This pack does not have anything that jumps out immediately and makes me say, oh man, I, I would stay away from that thing. So overall construction is good. The technology side, you have to figure out if that fits into your world. If you're someone who's like, I don't ever bring a phone when I go into the woods or any technology, you probably don't need the battery pack and all that stuff. If you're someone who's got a phone or a GPS or other things like that, then maybe you are gonna want you know, something that you can easily access and charge up your gear from both the solar panel and that internal battery. Now, if you wanna purchase one of these packs, just click that show more tab down below in the description section and use the link to Ghost Tech. They'll take you over to their website. The packs run $249.95. These are pre-order packs right now, so you'll be one of the first people to get a hold of one of these packs if you do make a purchase. I also wanna let you know that I'm working with a buddy who's working with Ghost Tech, and uh, just like when you make a purchase via Amazon, I get a little cut of that to help support the channel. If you decide to purchase one of these packs, I will get a little cut of that, so that'll help support the channel. Um, as well. I look forward to using this thing more. Um, yeah, I've got you know tons of packs. I had a comment the other day from a guy who was like, you are the bag master. You're the gear bag master. I have tons of bags. Um, I sell some, I keep some, I give some away. Uh, this is one I'm going to be interested to check out more and more because I'm always having to charge up cameras and gear when I'm out shooting video in the woods and this thing makes that pretty easy to do. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up here. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, and uh, we'll do our best to get back to you with any information that we have in relation to things that you want to know more about this Ghost Tech backpack. Thanks, as always, for checking out the videos here on YouTube. I have a couple more queued up for you right there. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.